Good day, how are you? And today you're welcome to Cetro Craft Channel. I'm Jackie Cetro. In case you're new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell to be notified of our latest video. So what are we going to be doing today? In just a few minutes, we're going to be achieving this that you're seeing, this pleated uh, gutter skirt with pockets. It's nice. It's as easy as A and B and C. So let's get to the cutting table and get it done. Gutter skirts is very easy. The waist I'll be using is 27, 23 inches. Then the hips is 27. Then the length of the skirt is 19 inches. Look at the pattern of this fabric. I'll make sure that this lower part form the hemline. I'm not even going to stitch as in bend on one inch. I'll just leave it like this. So what am I going to do? Just the simple logic for you to know the extent of the fabric you'll be using. You can multiply your, you can use three yards, it will be okay. Or you multiply your hips by two and a half or three. Your hips, let's say your hips is 40, multiply by three, multiply by two and a half. So this hips is 27, multiply by three, gave me 81 inches. So that 81 inches, I'm just going to approximate it to uh, two and a half yards. So like this right now the width will be two and a half yards like 81 inches then the length will be 19 inches so i'll just get 19 inches equidistant points like this 19 inches i'll come from the end line like this this is 19 so across board i'll cut it out for you right now 19 inches by two and a half yards so i have it out like this right now this 20 uh this six, 19 inches as you can see two and a half inches. So I folded into two, folded into two, and I'll cut it into two. Cutting it into two, this will be my front panel. This one piece. Then this will be my back panel. And the back panel right now, I now have to cut it into two because I'm going to affix zipper to it. Remember, we're going to have our pockets on one side and on the other side. So for my band, I just took SD. I want to be using for the band one and quarter inch width. So that means... I want to fold it this way now. I want it to be one and quarter inch. Can you see? One and quarter inch width. So one and quarter inch times two. That was just what I did. That's two and a half inches. Then I'm, I bent on half inch and half inch. So this maximally, I, I just cut on three and a half inches width by 23 inches length. So 23 inches length, I'm still going to add one inch on one side and one inch on the other side for the zipper. So that's what I'll be having here. For my band so so easy this is just as easy as a and b and c and for the pockets i just did my pockets like this this skirt is for a nine year old but if it's one adult you are going to fold your fabric like this 14 by 14 inches for the pockets but for this you can use 12 12 12 inches by 12 inches although actually i ended up using 11 inches but that was i discovered it was smaller so for a child 12 inches width by 12 inches depth. So I just cut out like this. So that is the pocket. But for an adult, 14 inches by 14 inches depth. So you just cut out this for an adult. So having cut out this way, then you, you're going to have the fold like this. So you have, you'll be having to like this, having, having this fold like this. So you come to the lower part like this. You are going to take four inches, four inches like this from the bottom of the pocket. Then you take half inch to your side like this, half inch. Then you come to the lower part like this. You take half inch also, half inch. Then you just make a curve for the pocket. After making the curve, you please make sure you do it on the right side of the fabric, just like I've done, such that by the time you're done, look at what I did. I just did what? After stitching on the machine this way, I'll just notch. After notching, this is the pocket right away. I'm going to affix it on the machine. So this is the pocket. Then you remember, before you go to this place, you have the pocket opening. For an adult, is seven inches. From these four inches, you mark seven inches. But this uh, is a child. So this from where? This part will be open. It will be open on the pocket. So this is from somewhere here that will start affixing to the fabric. So let's just stitch. To affix the pocket, I discovered that while doing the other one, I discovered that the pocket opening for a child 
six inches is too much. So I decided to make it four and a half inches. So this is the pocket opening here, just four and a half inches, four and a half inches. Then you have to notch this like quarter like this, like quarter inch. Then you turn in out like this. So we have the pocket like this. So having the pocket like this, remember we, we have not, then you just turn in like this. So this right side of the pocket like this, will be facing this, this is the other part, this is the other back panel. So, and remember also that the pocket open will be starting from three inches. So, and this is the pocket open. So you make sure that they are lined like this and you just place it right side facing each other like this. Then you stitch on half inch just to the end. You take the front panel, this is the front panel, the right side also, facing the right side of the pocket like this. So, I will stitch. So remember, we are starting the pocket on three inches, and this is the pocket opening, starting the start of the pocket opening for the other side. So you just place it like we did the other side, like this, and also stitch together. Right now we'll have the front and the back panel together like this. So we just place together, you can see that the pocket is already formed out. Just place together like this and just stitch on this half inch. You stitch up to this point of the pocket open, you leave the pocket open, then you stitch just down and the pocket will be cool. Just stitch the pocket like this and we're done. Front panel and back panel facing each other like this. The pockets will be separate like this. And this is the pocket opening three inches. So you just stitch. Then you raise your foot from that three inches point and go to the end of the pocket. With this, the pocket is ready. You just flip to the other side and repeat the same on the other side. Then you could close the pocket like this. If you like, you could stitch the pocket mm -hmm. like this. Now trim off all these excess seats and repeat the same for the other side. And with this, you have the, your pocket just cool ready. Then mm -hmm. you can whip the edge. Then you repeat the same for the other side. So right now, having your skirts just in one strand like this, the pocket is here, and the front panel and the back panel just like this, the front panel and the back panel. So we're just going to gather the skirt right now. Gathering it is very easy. You go to your machine and select the longest stitch, which is, this is five. So that's what I'll be using. And another way, if you where you have access to gathers foot, that's very, very easy. You just change this, your foot to gathers foot. So you just come here and do a very straight stitch, very long, but you make sure that the rope is just ahead like so. Then you... I'm going to do this all through. So you have uh, the gathers uh, stitched like this. So you make an additional line, just like so, and you make sure they don't touch each other. In case one cuts along the way, you'll be able to use the other one. And you make sure that the rope is like this. Then you start gathering it. But I tell you, if you have opportunity to get a gather's foot, it's better. So you just take one of the rope like this and you start gathering. Can you see? So these out from your gathers. Just start gathering. You gather, you shift. And you have to be very careful because it's so stressful. Once the rope has caught, that's the end. So I'll just keep doing it right now, then I'll get back to you. You can see, I'm true with gathering it. I later ended up just using these two like this, the two in front, I just took them together 
and I was gathering and shifting. So I've gathered it to my to the waist I'm using. Remember, I told you it's waist 23 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Then I'm going to leave two inches for zipper allowance. That two inch will be divided one inch on both sides of the back panel, one inch here and one inch here. So this is how it looks like. By the time I'm done with gathering, it's by the time your gathers is full, it's gonna look nice. So you now take the band. Remember, you created your band this way. Taking our band right now, this band is the waist of the person that owns this skirt. I'm just gonna divide it into two. Dividing it into two, that gives me the front panel using the front panel so this is the front panel right now this is the back panel so back panel front panel and back panel i'll also divide this into two like this remember this is one part the back panel is divided into two everything will be this way so this is the back panel this is the front panel this is the back panel and this back panel remember the pockets are by the side so this side right now, I'm just going to divide this back panel also into two. Can you see what I was saying now? So I'm going to note this point. The measurement I'm going to have is about 6.3 inches. By the time I divide this back panel into two like this, can you see? Like 6.3 inches. So I'm going to note it here with chalk or pin. I'll affix it to this point of the back panel that has the pocket, the back panel where it met with the front panel. So I'm going to just hold it like this so that the equidistant position is achieved and the skirt comes out nicely. Can you see? So it will be this way, then just like this to the front panel. Now go to the front panel like this. So. The other part of the back panel like this also, you just make sure that as you get the quarter of it, you make sure that it aligns with where the pocket to be staying. So before you pin down and I'll start stitching. I'll start stitching from the wrong side like this. Remember I created half inch for the band stitching. So I'll place it like this. I'll stitch on this half inch such that by the time I turn it, I'll now complete the stitching on the front panel like this so it will be concealed. So I'll pin this and I'll adjust to this measurement and take cognizance of all that I've told you. Then I'll stitch as you see. So right now, I've marked the quarter for the back panel, the quarter for the back panel. You can see I've pinned them down. Then this is the front panel. This is also the half, the middle of the front panel. And you can see with that, and I adjusted this uh, gathers to this band. You know, this band is our guide because that's the waistband. I just adjusted and made sure that they are accurate like this. And I went to these other parts as well, the back panel, each of the cutter, to adjust them to make sure they're accurate like this. So right now, what we just do is to stitch, and in stitching. I'll just start from the wrong side and from the middle, from the front panel. So this is the wrong side, as you can see, you can see the wrong side. So I took the band, I just flipped it open like this. Remember the half inch that we folded for stitching? So I'm going to stitch on this half inch. I'll stitch this front panel right now on this half inch. Remember the front panel is starting from here. So just stitch. So with this, we stick the front panel and now left with the back panel. So I finished this part, this side of the back panel and the front panel, this is the right side. So to finish this other side, let me just show you how I achieved that. You just come this way, 
Remember, this was where we stopped while we're fixing the front panel. You make sure the pin is still holding it, and you pin this other end together, leaving half inch to do the concealed sewing. So I'll be leaving this half inch for the concealed sewing part. Then please do ensure that while you're stitching, you uh, relax your fabric like so, and you just just stitch down to this point so you have it like this this is the right side this is the wrong side so what you do right now right now to have the zip out just this way you have to affix uh, to have the band like this you have to affix the zipper first by the time remember I told you you're gonna leave half inch by the time you're stitching the band to the skirt you leave half inch like i've done like this so my zipper foot is not okay so i had to stitch the zipper can you see i just unstitch the zipper first then you leave this opening then what you do is so so easy you just open up like so then you take it like this you take this band remember this is the wrong side you now fold look at it this is the right side from the wrong side like this you fold it like this and you now stitch on this your half inch, half inch you stitch down. After stitching this way right now, you just turn it like so. See, it's going to be like this. So you can use a pin to bring out the edge. So, pretty cool. Just affix your zipper in and then we stitch just like so. So by the time you're done with stitching this half inch like this, you just turn it like this. By the time you turn it, you now go to the right side. You just look like this, can you see? So this is what we're going to stitch on right now. We're going to end the stitching here. So we just keep stitching and we stitch so this is the final output of today's tutorial and if it has been uh, beneficial to you the teaching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thumbs up like share and subscribe so till i come your way next time don't forget to keep on smiling and our match edition our match class is on at central fashion school www.centralfashionschool.com register and our bonanza is still on so grab the offer where it's live please do support me by subscribing to my other channel Setra's Look to watch some of my funny skits I'm now Momsi Gengenge so good morning Lord I know look at this girl don't you know it's time for morning devotion eh you even slept in the parlor will you wake up now before I woke you <laughs> oh Mommy, it's every, every, every day that one will be waking up to pray to this your Christian God self. I thought you said this Christianity is a game of choice. Now, me, I want to, I want to become a Mariano. Did I hear you, eh? You mean you want to start following that boy that said God's children should not wear bra and should not go to school? Okay, now. Come closer. <laughs> Turn it on your carry when you're